गुड मॉर्निंग वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक सॉरी टू वेलकम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम टू सी ए फाउंडेशन फास्ट ट्रैक एंड वेलकम बैक टू द किड्स फॉर अटेंडिंग सी ए फाउंडेशन रेग्युलर बैच ईश विल कम टू द फर्स्ट फ्लोर यू हीरो डायलॉग लेटर आई हैव समथिंग आई हैव सम ड्यूज टू सेटल विथ यू can one of you press that button tram the projector button yes it also someone had to help me with that very sad it's not working with the remote i can try the old indian technique might not work with everything oh yeah it's working great so let me just give you guys a heads up about today's class for the people who been attending our regular batch uh, we have so far done with 1 to 7 we have this new topic that's been entered into our ca foundation curriculum uh, in the new scheme of education this is a topic of incomplete records this chapter which was there in ca intermediate which is now shifted to ca foundation and those of them who are in the fast track batch uh, this chapter is something that you didn't read last time when you wrote the examination this is newly added so it is new to all of them new to me also at foundation level at inter level i have thought before this is the first time for me as well it's just that the students knowledge is different but otherwise if you people can stay with me trust me i can make this chapter one of the most interesting and uh, nice chapters to do is an easy chapter at intermediate level and what chap what level chapter is it going to be at uh, foundation level is what you will tell me at the end of the this class and usually we take 3 uh, days 3 and a half days to do this chapter if we take 4 uh, and a half hours or effective 4 and a half hours class in inter class but the objective is we should finish this today tomorrow all of us know the number of amount number of days left for our examination is almost just 100 so number of days becoming less we have to finish off the chapters much earlier so that we we'll have much more time left with you to prepare better for the examination and for the people who are attending in fast track batch i would try to finish the new chapters in the beginning whatever is the new chapters that is there dissolution of partnership and our uh, this chapter and two more units in company accounts or if not the new ones also the difficult and bigger ones first i would want to do the easier and smaller ones later this is because you would get ample time to read the new topics and get back to me with doubts or if you need any more help you would want me to do those topics slightly again or do more practice problems we'll have enough time to react that's the only intention and nothing else so we can start with incomplete records we'll just quickly revise the basics of accounts that we already did so there are five basic elements what all of us need to know before we start with any part of accounting asset liability owner's equity revenue expense what are the five items assets liabilities owner's equity revenue and expense so how do i remember this i tell it in a very simple way bank load is the logic so if you hit someone like this it's called as bank then you open the rest of the fingers what is the remaining letters in the spelling of bank load b a n g a L O R E. What is it? B A N G. Then A L O R E. A assets. L liabilities. O owner equity. R revenue. E expense. Asset. What do you mean by an asset? It's a resource controlled by the entity arising from the past, giving future economic benefit. I will not make you mug up the same. Your effort. Regular class we do. Today we'll just do overview. Later when I meet fast track people separately, I'll make you people revise it once. Okay. then liability what you owe or whatever is your obligation is fantastic what is o owner equity owner equity is your capital got it then r r for revenue or we can also call it income and then e for expense expense is what we incur am i right so asset and expense behave similarly asset and expense behave asset and expense when it is increasing we debit it asset and expense when it is increasing asset expense increase asset expense increase asset expense decrease asset expense decrease liability owner equity revenue these three behave similarly liability owner equity revenue increase credit liability owner equity revenue increase liability owner equity revenue decrease that's it if you know this much you are good to start with you or say single entry records because this records are maintained by person who doesn't know this chapter is applicable to such kind of an entity who which is run by a person who doesn't know much of accounts 
So one quick revision. What is this? I will tell and then you tell. Don't speculate the question. If asset and expense increase, if asset and expense decrease, they go. Liability, owner, equity, revenue. Liability, owner, equity, revenue. If it increases, if it decreases, fantastic. Do you guys understand this much? Very good. Now, let me give you backdrop of single entry or incomplete records. See, we all know accounts have, accounts have two aspects. We need to always write two aspects. One is debit aspect. Other one is you pick a transaction, any transaction. If you purchase goods, there are two aspects. What is the general entry for purchase of goods? Purchase account debit to cash. Purchase is the debit aspect. Cash is the credit aspect. If you sell goods, what is the journal entry? Cash account debit to sales. Cash is the debit aspect. Sales is the credit aspect. Capital introduced by way of cash. Capit cash account debit to capital account. Cash is one aspect. Capital is another aspect. Any transaction that you say will always have two aspects. Am I right? We should record both the aspects. We should classify the aspects into accounts. We should transfer them to trial balance. We should prepare final accounts. At every stage, we are always dealing with two aspects. What would happen if I record only one aspect? I would fail the examination. If in the exam, you write cash account debit ashte in your journal entry, what will happen? You won't get marks for that question. If you haven't got enough marks in other things, you would obviously fail. But in the business, what happens if some person doesn't record both aspects? It is books of accounts. He purchased goods, he wrote purchase account debit ashte. Cash ala yake, really? Enantira. Ashta, that guy wrote purchase account debit. Ashta, he didn't write cash account debit. Can he do so? His business. Who am I? Who are you to tell what is right, what is wrong? Correct or not? Adevarege kai mugsi, you write purchase account debit and close the books. That's it. Can you do that? He has done that. You, who am I and you? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Who am I and who are you to tell that's wrong? He's done purchase account debit. No problem. The problem starts when? At the end of the year. He wants to prepare profit and loss account. The problem starts when at the end of the year, he wants to prepare balance sheet. Why? How do you prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet? You would want to see trial balance. A trial balance is not tallying. Trial balance debit side total is one number. Credit side total is one more number. Both are no way close. Can you prepare final accounts with an untallied trial balance? So that's where the problem comes. So this is what we call incomplete record. What is it? One aspect is recorded, other aspect is not recorded. Or he might have recorded in the cash book, he will write. He is maintaining one cash book. In that cash book, he will write. Business started with 10,000 rupees cash. He wrote, what to say, Om Ganesha Inama, and then he wrote 10,000 rupees. And then he spent 2,000 rupees on purchase. Minus 2,000, 8,000 he wrote. Ashta. Purchase is sale and all, he doesn't write. Now, very small, uh, like a uh, flower vendor here, or a small SLV hotel. Where you people go to eat masala dosi on the breakfast time. So that small hotel, or you go to drink tea, that tea uncle, that tongue is there. All of them also should maintain books of accounts. Business. Do they appoint one accountant to maintain records and open one tally and write first pass journal entry, ledger, and then trial balance and final account? No, they'll keep one small book, pocket degree. In that area, he'll write 10,000 rupees. What is 10,000? Well, you get cash that is invested. And in that, he bought milk packet 500 rupees. I'll write minus milk 500. Will he write? Purchase account debit to cash. No. PBMB people will come to clear the teacups, what was all thrown. So for them, we'll pay 50 rupees. We'll write minus, uh, what to say, scrap or BBMP minus 50. They'll write like that only, you know. Am I right? Let's say he will purchase uh, tea packets and come from the market. He'll write minus tea packet 100. That's what you'd write. So what is he doing here? He's doing single entry. He's doing he is only worried about the cash. At the end, you will see in this cash book plus sales during the day, whatever sales he made, no, plus sales he will write 5000 rupees. So, 10,000 minus some thousand expense plus 5000, 14,000 should be there. He has only 8000 in the pocket. Cash box only 8000 is there. It's like, where did the 6000 go? Then you will check his bank account. Oh, lot of them did phone pay, phone pay, phone pay. No, there 6000 has come. Oh, totally. How much do you have? 14,000 is there in the paper, 8000 is there in the pocket. 6,000 is there in the bank. 8 plus 6, 14, 14,000 in the book. Ah, my books are done, updated. We maintain full proper records. We records correct and maintain We won't get sleep in the night. We don't maintain proper records. This is the quote made by T uncle. Now, as he maintained records, according to me, he skipped records. According to him, he skipped enough records. Now, let us let us think. Okay. 
Now you tell as a commerce graduate or an upcoming commerce professional, is the data what is maintained sufficient to identify the profit or loss? Not sufficient. So now we will come to you and then ask your help. He will come to you and ask your help. Hey, please help me identify my profit or loss for the year. Please, ident please help me identify my, what do you do? Is what we are going to learn today and tomorrow. One fine day when you become chartered accountant also, so a lot of them will come. Sir, Namdu, will have condiments so, or hot chips. We will sell chips. So, do you think that chips uncle will keep one laptop there and then pass journal entries every time sales are made? All the sales will write in one book. Whoever is there, they will keep one book in that book. He will write, end of the day, how much sales is made. Value, they write in value. Whatever they purchase, they would record, keep it recorded in one book. And all the transactions, they will keep in one bank account or they will write in one cash book. That is the records there. At the end of the year, they will come and say, Sir, we have applied for bank loan. No. They will you know, ITR and you know, they will ask. What do you tell? You will tell ITR means income tax return. You need to file income tax return. Income tax is paid on what? Income. Income is nothing but profit. You need to identify profit. How do you find profit? You have been learning from first piece to second piece. How do you find profit? p and l account. How do you find profit? Very good. You need to prepare his p and l account. You will ask, uh, give me your trial balance. Does he know what is trial balance? If he knows what is trial balance, he would not be doing hot chips. Correct. Some people are thinking, sir, even I don't know trial balance. Am I also going to open hot chips? I don't know. If you do open, will I get discount? No, 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 I won't eat too much of oil. It's fine. You guys can sell it at whatever price you want. Huh? So, what am I trying to tell? So, he doesn't know trial balance. You will ask him trial balance, you don't know. Okay, fine. Give me your ledger account. I'll only prepare trial balance. Like ledger. Look, ledger is not there. Okay, fine. Give me your journals. Like journal law. Like, okay, fine. Tell me all the list of transactions. Transactions. Sir. He doesn't know anything. Then you will ask, sir, whatever happened in the business, what did you like? Ah, that uh, I maintained, sir. Allah bukkal bardhidini. Then we will give one book, one short notebook. What you used to use when you in third standard? No? Not long book also, short book. You understand short notebook? You people are so lost. Handouts. What was it telling? Ha, that short notebook, no? He will get that short notebook and he will say, Sir, in this I have recorded all my sales, in this I have recorded all my purchases, in this I have recorded all my cash transactions. Now, what do you do? You need to see. Fill in the blanks. Then get. This transaction here is written cash. What is this? This is expense? No, this looks like purchase. Oh my God, this is asset purchased. So, you need to guess. And then you need to draft these accounts. And then prepare ledger. And then prepare trial balance. And then prepare final accounts. And then give it. I am getting it. Then income tax return and everything. This is what you are supposed to do. This is a practical chapter or a very, very theory, theory, boring, boring chapter. Very, very practical chapter. Unless until you open one big company of audit, big audit firm wherein only big, big MNCs come for audit. No. If you open a medium sized firm in a city like Bangalore or in a tier 2 city, how many of you are from a place other than Bangalore? Like uh, cities like Daungere, Tumkuru, Koyambatoru, Salem. When you, let's say you go back to your hometown and you open your practice. Everyone who comes to you is a company with 100 crores turnover. No, departmental store uncle and then uh, what to say, uh, condiments uncle, bakery uncle, hotel uncle. All these people will come to you know, for help. Yes or no? Your papa's friends, your mama's friends, your cousin's shop. When all of them come, you can't say, see, I can't process accounts like this. Accounts is mine. You can maintain double entry system. Not everyone will keep complete records. Some people you would have to help them because they are in trouble. So, how do you do that? That's what we are going to learn in next two days. So, you understood the base of what we are going to do? Now, you tell me, the client comes to you, you tell him, okay, sir, you would have to actually prepare uh, p and account to file income tax return. To prepare p and account, you should have trial balance. To prepare trial balance, you should have ledger. To prepare ledger, you should have journal. To prepare journal, you need to identify transactions. You have incomplete transactions in your journal form. Okay, fine. I will help you. I have been taught how to maintain records. So, give me all the data that you have. Using that, I will prepare journal, post it to ledger, prepare. don't read, write everything. Just keep that paper down on the floor and listen to what I am trying to tell. I will tell you how to use the handout and what to write there. Collect the paper, keep it on the desk and look at me. Ha. Huh. So, what was I trying to tell you people? Distraction, distraction. Huh. You need to do journal, ledger, you will tell the entire story. Now, 
there is literally literally the tea shop what is there you know that tea shop one year over first newly opened two three months ayatha step people who have been here for few months that shop was not there before so newly opened tea shop 31st of march business over april month he comes to you and then tell sir my business i want to file itr now you will tell you need to pass journal ledger trial balance now how many transactions you would have done in a single day how many sales would you do are you getting are you aware no how many times will you buy milk packet how much of tea packets will you buy how much sugar will you buy you will pay rent so so many you'll buy the tea cups and you'll pay money to bbmp for cleaning you'll pay the, there are a lot of transactions that you'll enter into so he will go on giving you all the information think what what or not should you be doing you have to write all the journal entries push them all to ledger account then prepare trial balance then do balance sheet for one problem that i gave yesterday in the morning batch people took 1 hour 20 minutes and still didn't complete the problem if that businessmen all the transactions sales purchase cash transactions everything is given to you for just one time just hange dream maadi how much time will you take to pass all the journal entries prepare ledger accounts prepare trial balance then prepare balance sheet pnl account income tax return you keep aside to do this much and then give how much time will you take come on no tell one number helappa ha huh? five days belige inda sanje varaku full day five days thane am i right but at your current level of understanding of accounts are you competent to prepare ivaga right now how much your knowledge that you have about accounts do you have enough knowledge to do it on your own right now no you can't but when you become a chartered accountant do you have enough credibility competence and knowledge to do it as a chartered accountant if you're spending 5 days as a chartered accountant if you're spending 5 days how much money would you charge think as a chartered accountant right now right now can you do no right now if you can do it in 5 days how much sir 1000 rupees per day kotra sakala 5000 if you also you'll be happy. oh 1000 rupees per day is nice in election start agila la 1000 election start agira 1500 1500 plus one packet what sidrana sidrana with chips sir ee sathi en kodtaro gottilla biryani okay i got i don't know. you guys are teenagers you are not allowed to campaign okay now get back so right now the cost will be very different but just imagine as a chartered accountant if you spend 5 days how much money would you charge tell one number tell one number as a chartered accountant one day work if you spend for one client how much can you charge chartered accountant you are 3 years or 4 years away from becoming one 3 years away 30 40000 per day so 5 days how much 2 lakh rupees no one and half to lakh okay fine is your friend 1 lakh rupees minimum just imagine the tea shop guy you are asking him to pay 1 lakh rupees fees to prepare his trading pnl and balance sheet how many tane bada sir na tea ange ne food he is like he should work hard for 4 5 months to earn 1 lakh rupees you will sit for 5 days and then sir see i am not telling what you are charging is wrong you are right you have to charge so much money but can he afford can he afford anga they have to can he say that i will not prepare uh, pnl account i will not file income tax return income tax department ban gumtare see that is see you cannot say that you will not prepare books of accounts and you cannot say that you will spend so much money adu vida matte idu vida kodadu you can't leave without preparing books of accounts and you can't afford to pay also now we want some cheap solution you want some jugad you want to do some jugad do you get what i am trying to tell so what is a jugad that we do this jugad is called as statement of affairs method what is it called very good everyone once again repeat after me what is this method called here we will identify the profit that we want we will identify the profit that we want but we will not spend 5 days we will tell the client sir complete records detail 100% accuracy if you want i would have to spend 5 days i'll charge you 1 lakh rupees fees is that okay client will tell sir 1 lakh look at my face look at my face you tell me do you really think i am someone who has 1 lakh rupees you say no okay fine i will do the entire work for 10000 rupees I'll do the entire work for ten thousand. Ten thousand rupees is it okay? Affordable? First year, ten thousand. Everything: maintenance of accounts, preparation of financial statements, filing income tax return. Everything together, ten thousand. Fine. He'll say, okay, fine, payable. And you'll also spend how much time? You'll also spend half an hour. Or okay, five thousand rupees you charge, you spend half an hour. Is it fine deal? Five thousand affordable to tea shop uncle? Yes or no? Half an hour, okay, five thousand charge. Madam, as a chartered accountant, are you happy? How to do it in half an hour? 
statement of affairs method. How to do it in half an hour? Statement of affairs method. However, let's say it is a business. It is a business where they are doing decent money. Every month they are doing one and a half, two lakh rupees. Every month they are doing two lakh, three lakh rupees. They are making enough money. In a year they made 36, 40 lakh rupees profit. But only one person is doing the entire business. Only one person is doing the, he is only cooking, he is only selling, he is only buying, everything he is only doing. You get this? Now over Chandru uncle, hotel. Veluli kebab. So let's say he has made some 36 lakh profits at the end of one year. And uh, his business may simple, no. He will collect the money, he will give the bill. Collect the money, he will give the bill. At the end of the day, whatever bill is there, he will write in one book. He is not made in proper books of accounts. He is not made in proper. He is written just amounts like that. How much money is received, how much money is spent, how much salary given to Rahul, yeah, how much money received by Instagram uh, ads. Everything is written in one book. So now at the end of the year, you want to identify profit. You will charge him 1 lakh. Is he willing to pay? He will be willing to pay. You would want to maintain decent records. You get that? Because if he has earned 36 lakh rupees profit, he would have earned way more than that as his sales revenue. GST also might come into picture. Income tax returns, he might have to maintain in detail. Scrutiny also might come. So he wants to maintain detailed records. If you tell him, sir, I want to spend 5 days, maintain the records completely, 1 lakh rupees, will you be willing to pay? He will be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. One more, one more, and be totally. Chatta pata chatta. Take it, take it. I will give you 1 lakh rupees. You take it, but maintain the records properly. Will you be able to afford? Yes. There you don't follow shortcut. There you don't follow shortcut. So what you do there is, you will convert, you will convert the single entry that is recorded into double entry system. You will convert the single entry that is maintained into double entry. So you basically have two options. You basically have two options. Whenever a client comes to you with incomplete records, incomplete means what? They have written only one aspect. They have not written another aspect. Or they have not written some transactions only. Depreciation and entry ne bardhi dhani. When you purchase goods, they will write the cash aspect. When you sell goods, they will write the cash aspect. Assets purchased, will they will maintain. Asset they will use. But they won't record the value of the asset anyway. They won't write depreciation. They won't write outstanding expenditure, accrued expenditure. Do you really think a businessman would know it? He would have not written all of these entries. Whenever he pays the expense, he will write. Whenever he receives the income, he will write. Purchase one, day, one place, he will write completely what is the purchases. Sales will write at one place. Cash received paid will write at one place. If he buys any asset, he will maintain the bill of that asset purchased. So this is the basic maintenance done. Is it complete records? Absolutely no. Is this complete records? No. When such a person comes to you for help, how many ways do you have to complete his accounts? Two ways. Number one, statement of affairs method. Number two, conversion of single entry to double entry. Conversion of single entry to very good. It's like this, okay. Whenever you feel incomplete, my life is incomplete. I feel left out. I feel alone. I don't know what to do in life after class. I am bored. You have two solutions. One, you can have an affair. Statement of affairs method. Two, you can convert yourself into double. One is temporary solution. One is permanent solution. You get this? If you do statement of affairs method, temporary. E varshak set like Para varsha gotila. Are you getting it? However, if you decide to convert to double entry system, rest of my life with you. Oh, ah, game over. Amele, no coming back to statement of affairs method. So you understand? One is temporary solution. One is what is temporary solution? What is permanent solution? Very good. If you convert it to double entry, next year also you will convert the double entry. The base is there for you to continue with the double entry system. What is going to take more time? Conversion of single into double entry. Yeah, dina peko, jaga peko. Correct or not? Food book maad veko, LR invite maad veko, invitation print maad veko. It's a long process. Statement of affairs method, very simple, nothing. One smile, one wink. Over! Two messages, one joke. Hashtag. Correct or not? So it's very simple. You see, for the second one, you guys are cheering, howling, laughing. Now you are cheering, howling, laughing. Let's see. You guys, you guys got the basic overview, am I right? Come on, let's understand the basic part. Incomplete records. So, what do you mean by incomplete records? Refers to records maintained in. Uh, throughout, we have been learning double entry system, double entry system, double entry system. But this double entry system is not complete. This double entry system is, whenever this double entry system is not complete, we call it incomplete records or single entry system. What is it called as? Incomplete records or single entry system. Very good. Read the next slide. The information is maintained by the businessman for certain aspects only what would he record he'll record cash he'll record all the cash received all the cash paid no matter how small the businessman is he will keep record of cash no 
how much cash received, how much cash paid. Leave that. Mom at home only will keep one small book or small paper on the fridge, no? In that she will write how much money uh, paid for rent, how much money paid for college fees or school fees, how much is the money spent on vegetables, weekly budget matter, 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 matter. Okay, you only do. Okay, one of them at home does no, or both of them together they sit and do. At that time, don't be around, okay? If you are around, okay, for doctor, wasteful expenditure, wasteful expenditure. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you record that like that also they'll only maintain, they'll also maintain that cash record. The next one is amount receivable. Amount if someone comes to your shop, they buy the product from you. After they buy the product from you, you'll ask them money. They'll be like, okay, thank you, sir. Please note down, I'll give it to you tomorrow. A lot of them will tell no, Udar, loan, credit. If they take you keep record, no. This person has to pay this much, this person has to pay this much, I will make him pay this much. You keep record, debtors. Sorry, the debtors are the person to whom you should pay. Creditors are the person who, correct or not, Alva, super. Debtors are the people from whom you are supposed to receive, creditors are the people to whom you should pay. Against purchase and sale, you keep on record, amount receivable and payable. In one notebook, you write, no, how much are you supposed to pay? Hey, have you, don't, you don't have account. In tea and tea and tea, agarbati and tea, ali, coconut and tea, ali, bakery, you do, SLV, you don't have any account anyway. Settle maavut ra. Okay, then, amount payable. Then, uh, assets won. If you buy some assets, hotel guy, buys one stove, buys one gas, buys one light, buys one fan, you will keep bill of that, whatever he has purchased. Right? Same thing. Assets won also, they will keep a list. So, you will ignore all the non-cash transactions. What will they ignore? Depreciation entry. Do you really think? One hotel uncle will be able to think of a depreciation entry and then pass. No way. They would have not passed all this non-cash transaction. You would have to pass it on their behalf. Got it? Now, for each business, what should you be able to do? You should be determining financial performance and financial position. You should be determining their financial performance and financial. What is the objectives of accounts? Financial performance, financial position. Why? Why do you want to evaluate financial performance? And financial position for the purpose of decision making. What is the ultimate objective of accounts? What is the ultimate objective of accounts? Decision making. Hey, what is the ultimate objective of accounts? Ah, you have to take decisions. You have to take whether to continue the business or not to continue the business, whether to expand or don't expand. How do you take such decisions? Based on the performance and position evaluation only. So to evaluate this, you need to know financial performance, financial position. Financial performance is P&L account. Financial position is evaluated by balance sheet. Correct? Huh? Are you guys getting it? Hey, is my language clear to you people? Very good. Then, so two ways to do this. How many ways? Way number one, conversion to. Very good. Way number two. Very good. This is our normal final accounts approach. You should do trading, P&L and balance sheet. Here, we don't do balance sheet. We do something which looks like balance sheet. We don't do PNL, which will do something which looks like PNL. And that's it. Answer will be ready. Got that? So then we have little bit of difference and uh, difference between our uh, single entry and double entry. This you can read slightly later. You can copy also slightly later. So uh, can I tell you how to compute profit? We will first do statement of affairs method. What method are we going to do now? And then we'll do conversion of single entry to double entry. So far everyone's clear? Pakka. Fantastic. Now listen to what I'm trying to tell. Statement of affairs method, you prepare something called a statement of affairs. In statement of affairs method, you prepare something called the statement of affairs, what we prepare. No, it is like balance sheet, but not balance sheet. It is balance sheet tara, or a balance sheet Allah. You get this? It is like balance sheet, but not why? What do you write in balance sheet? You prepare trial balance. In the trial balance, whatever asset figures, liability figures are there, you post them to balance sheet. Here there is no trial balance. Straight away you write items. Straight away you write. And how do we get to know whether accounts are correct? You prepare balance sheet. Balance sheet will tally. Then accounts are correct. Here you know what do you do? You won't prepare trial balance. No. You will straight away prepare balance sheet. So balance sheet actually will not tally. In the balance sheet we will find balancing. What do you do? In the balance sheet you will find have you ever done balancing figure in balance sheet? Ah, oh, yeah, sir, in the exam, it actually didn't tally. So, I wrote balancing figure to one fixed asset per 
Yeah, if the person who is correcting is sleeping, then uh, he will give marks. But otherwise, no. Here, you have to find the balance and figure in the balance sheet. So, what do we do is, we do two statement of affairs. How many statement of affairs? One is opening, other one is closing. One is, other one is, opening is on the opening date, closing is on the closing date. Both if I do, I will write opening date, what all assets I have. Stowo, Mixi, Lito, Bencho, Cheru, all I will write. Whatever liabilities I have, money is supposed to be paid to this supplier, this loan needs to be paid, money payment pending to landlord, all of the liabilities are right. Capital I will find balance in figure. What will I find as balance in figure? Very good. I will repeat once again. We will write all the assets that the businessman owes. Assets records will be there, no? We will write all the assets including debtor, cash, bank. Stock, everything, I will write all the assets on the asset side. I will write all the liabilities, money that he owes. I will find capital as balance and figure. What will I find as balance and figure? This is in the opening balance sheet. Where is this? I will do a similar statement in the closing balance sheet. I will do a similar statement in the closing balance sheet also. It is like balance sheet but not balance sheet. What is it? Statement of. What is it? Statement of. Here also I will write all the assets, all the liabilities. I will find balance and figure. Now think. On the beginning date, Capital balance in figure came to 1 lakh. On the beginning date, capital balance in figure came to how much? On the closing date, capital balance in figure came to 1 lakh 20. On the beginning date, balance in figure in statement of affairs came to 1 lakh. That is opening capital. On the closing date in statement of affairs, balance in figure came to 1 lakh 20. Now, 1 lakh has become 1 lakh 20. 1 lakh has become 1 lakh. How did the capital increase? How did the capital increase? One of the reason is profit. Now, profit is not the only reason. One of the reason is profit. Profit is not the. If there are no other reasons, one lakh capital became one lakh twenty because of profit twenty thousand. Simple logic. That's our statement of profit. That's our statement of. That statement of profit. Yeah, closing capital one lakh twenty minus opening capital one lakh profit twenty thousand. This is our statement of profit. What is this? Everyone understood. Very good. Now, the next thing that I would want you to do is, sir, what else can be the reason? There can be additional capital, there can be drawings. There can be additional capital, there can be, let us say there is additional capital of 30,000. Additional capital of drawings of 40,000. Drawings of, see, 1 lakh was the capital at the beginning. 1 lakh was the capital at the, additionally you bought in 40, oh, sorry, 30,000. How much should be the capital? 1 lakh plus 30, 1 lakh 30. Let us say you withdrew 40,000. 1 lakh 30 minus 40. How much should be closing capital? Closing capital should be 90, but it is 1 lakh 20. 30,000 profit. Are you getting it? So, the journey from opening capital to closing capital. Journey from opening capital to closing capital is like this. Opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings plus profit is equal to closing capital. I will repeat. Opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings plus profit is equal to closing capital. Am I right? In this opening capital, we will get to know how. We prepare something like balance sheet on the opening date. We will prepare something like balance sheet on the opening date. What do we call it? Statement of affairs, opening statement of affairs. Opening statement of affairs, Ali, what do you find as balancing figure? Opening capital. We will prepare a similar statement of affairs on the closing date. We will get closing statement of apparently closing capital as balance in figure. Usually we find profit. We had opening capital plus profit and write closing capital no in balance sheet. Illi ulta. We will find opening capital, we will find closing capital. Difference is profit. You will understand eventually. So opening capital you know, closing capital you know. During the year, any additional capital that you bought in, it is in cash, no, you would maintain in cash. So you know additional capital. Now, whatever money is withdrawn, you will take it from the business. Cash is going out, you would have kept the record. Drawings is available. So, opening capital goes to, additional capital goes to, drawings go to, closing capital goes to. Can't we find profit or loss? You do this, no plus minus. That is called statement of profit or loss. Usually, according to us, statement of profit or loss means what will come into your picture? Sales, purchase, depreciation, interest, rent, all these expenses and income you should write. That's what comes to your mind, no? Illa de la, de la. Capital difference we will find and we will do net profit. To be precise, when you do normal accounts, in your balance sheet, liability side you should write no capital plus drawings, uh, sorry, plus uh, additional capital minus drawings plus profit closing capital. That only capital adjustment is there. that itself is called a statement of profit. You got it? Yes, sir. Very good.
और ऑब्जेक्टिव बिफोर वी टेक अवर सेकेंड ब्रेक सेकेंड ब्रेक हाँ बिफोर वी टेक अवर सेकेंड ब्रेक इज टू फिनिश स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इज टू फिनिश वेरी गुड सो वील स्टार्ट द क्वेश्चन इन अदर फाइव मिनट बिफोर दैट बिकॉज इज द फर्स्ट डे लेट्स डू वन थिंग Start in your notebook and then write little bit of theory. Whatever is there here, basic theory. Write this down and then we'll start solving questions. Will you? Writing time me only writing. Writing time me no talking. If you are doing talking, it should be with me. Ah, huh? full focus. Can I have the pa? Extra idea. Ah, keep it in the front row. How many of you have not got the handout? Everyone has got the handout. Very good. Badrinath, let me check with the audio. Yeah, people who are watching it on Zoom live, I hope everything is perfect and fine. Bega bega, very good. Lot of familiar faces, but few new faces. How many am I seeing in the class for the first time? Very good, but this is the only time you can raise your hand. Next time, if I ask, it won't be first time. Yeah, why? You have already seen me, no? You join the class after half an hour. Aya yo, Nitya, ya kama. Mistake from our side, ha? Huh? We didn't share the link, kanchala. <coughs> Was there a small mix-up? Did the fast track batch people also receive the link? Sorry, Raksha. It's okay. We were just joking. I was just telling them how to do tea. Nothing great and serious, but you can watch it later. I'll ask them to upload today's class ASAP as soon as possible. At least first half of the class, I'll ask them to upload immediately. You can watch it. I didn't make them write anything. Writing equally start. Then I was just telling them instructions. For all the fast track batch people, I would expect a separate notebook. Please don't write in your maths book. Or law book or uh, economics book. If a separate book for accounts, one separate book will definitely get over. Don't worry. Two hundred pages book, Aram se will finish. Don't worry about the book getting wasted. Are you feeling bad that one entire tree is cut to make that book what you'll use now? Huh? Hmm? एना पाशी शेर मारा कट मर दे रहे थे बेजर मारा या क्या हम्म ये नंदी रा हम्म अजान इस सेंग सुन देवर उल्लेख मार दे रहे ये देवर ने उल्लेख मार दे रहे देवर उसी शैक शो God also will be saying, "Oh my God, look who's asking." Oh, yeah, Kiri, Vandi, Lan, Nenne, Vandi. Ah, you guys are Achi, Nadi. Hey, na Achi, how are you there? Which next class? With standard, ah, grow up, grown up, no. Remember that. Ache hogi the, the ache hogi. Go out of station. Go now also. Commitment to class. Ye ne la. Ache hogi the. You told that day full fancy dialogue. Next day will come timetable. I will tell you. Help me out to read remaining chapters. Matte ni na ache hogi the. What attend Marde? Here I know who and all attended Zoom live class. Sad visit one of your friend. I, why are you telling me all that? I don't want all that. I only want you to come to class. 
you sit next to your friend don't feel shy now uh. what was the purpose business visit and then ಆ ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಕೈ ಮುಗಿಸಿ ಓದಿದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ಗಾಡ್ ಡಸೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಮೈ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಬಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಬಂಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಕ್ಲಾ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಡೇ ಹೌ ದೇ ವರ್ ಶೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಇಷ್ಟ ಡೇ ಶಿಕ್ ಶಾಕ್ ಶೂ ಫುಲ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಭಯ್ ಭಗತ್ ಬಂದ್ ಏನಾಯ್ತು ಬರ್ಲಿ ರುಬ್ಬಣ ಫೈನ್ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡೋಣ ಚಟ್ನಿ ಬಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಗ್ರೀಂಗ್ ಟು ಕಮ್ ಅರ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಏಟ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಐ ಅಗ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ನಾಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ದೇ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟೋಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ದೆಮ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ yesterday yesterday day before yesterday and nice of you people to accept means a lot i won't make you people regret for your decision don't worry and i expect the same tomorrow also these two days like we can wait a cows I told you, you know, this will take good enough time, this unit. Just to save time, uh, I have given you a beautiful handout, if you can see. So, it will save the time by half. Writing time. What will we do with that time? Two extra questions. how many more people are there in zoom live can you just drop in a hi namaskara enadru helri hi sharat oh sharat the most famous businessman your yaar gotta international businessman sharat hi arbia oh i know then we have pavishri hi sir emma ade james baratala jaasti dud kotre sigodu ada emma then we have nisha norin whenever you guys join no please don't keep this name so oppo vivo pixel iphone 13 don't do this please change your name in the zoom ಹಾಸಿನಿ ನೈಸ್ ರುಚಿ ಸೂಪರ್ ವರ್ಷ ರಕ್ಷ ಭವ್ಯ ಕಿರಣ್ ಆಮ ಇನ್ನ ಇದಕ್ಕಿಂತ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಝೂಮ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕಡೆ ಇರೋದು ಕಟ್ ಆಗತ್ತಮ್ಮ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ತೋರಿಸ್ಬೇಕಾ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ತೋರ್ಸಕ್ಕಿದೆ ರಾಜಮೌಳಿ ಮುಗುಶಿನ ಈ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೂ ಮೋರ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ ಕಮ್ ವಿತ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಹಾಯ್ ನೈಸ್ 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 ನೆವರ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಯುನೀಕ್ ನೇಮ್
Good and nice behavior in the class. Whatever you maintain in the last 30 40 minutes, please continue the same for the rest of the schedule also. Okay, because I have a very bad habit. It was not even my class, I was taking uh, inter old batch. People are rating in May, inter November, inter November batches. You know, the one more batch which is started newly. So, in that batch, right after the break, someone was using phone in the class. I didn't spare them only. Not even my class. I was walking upstairs. Door no I opened the door. I stopped, stepped in. I told the sir, sir, this person is using the phone. He was playing game. Candy Crush. Can I scroll a little more down? Did you finish that difference between table? <coughs> oh, hi Pranav. Hey, but cup is there. I am not going to read it. I am this is the one. the Can I scroll a little more? Sachitana complimented. Nice name. You didn't respond. See, everyone in the class is also upset. So, in questions. Anything for you? Opening up. Huh? Over is Hopi, is What is Hopi then? Over Opening balance, opening balance, opening if I can't see you, then you also can't see me. Because light travels in a straight line. Nice. 
two two colors. Ah, oh, that's good. At least two colors is here, mother. Pencil is also good. Gray and black. I'm going to do three colors: pink, black, gray. Shocking pink. I am shocking pink. Thoroughly should scroll. Last time, you know, sir, dear, are we in the game? We'll be trying something like this in interview case. Foundation button. Hmm? It will done. Interview we've been doing for some time now. For some topics which are little complex and which will take more time. Whenever you are ready, <coughs> we'll start with questions. Yes, Emma. What is ASMR? Anyone knows? No one knows. Yes, study material. ASMR. Hey, they put all of this now. Now, when they're cooking, they'll put the touch, touch, touch. That sound will loud to hear. Chips packet, brrrr, and the whole matter. Chips, 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 Sound, 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 acoustic sound. Java will hear phone up under the other thing. Let's have a look at it. Let's have a look at it. We left the class and then the game started. Okay, one small takeaway from this, what we have written, but I'll revise it to people again. What is the journey from opening capital to closing capital? What is the journey from opening capital to closing capital? Opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings plus profit or minus loss is closing capital. So you will know opening, you will know closing, you will know additional capital, you will know drawings. You should find profit. Am I right? So here, what we have is opening plus additional minus drawings 
plus profit is equal to closing. So, we want to know profit. These three items, whatever are here on the top, we will send it to below. Or it is like sending it to the other side of the equals. So, closing stock will remain as it is. Opening is plus here. When you send it to the other side, it will become minus. Additional capital is plus. When you send it to the other side, it will become minus. Drawing is minus. When you send it to the other side, it will become plus. In other way, you write it in the equation and see, no. Opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings plus profit is equal to closing capital. Opening addition is plus salva. You send it to other side of equals, it will become minus. Drawing is already minus. You send it to other side, it will become plus. Understood? That is the logic. If you are all ready, I can start with question number 1. If you have any doubt, I will answer your doubt and then go to question. Thank you. Anybody has any doubts? Hey, I appreciate doubts. If you guys have any doubts, you can ask it any number of times at any point of time. Nobody has doubts. Koisha, Koisawal, Vedadar Prachana Irika, Inkete Sullanga, Innaru Vati Sullre. Arthma Inda, Yella Artha Itinre. Very good. Tumba Chuti Idira Maklu. Come on, let's start with illustration number one. Question is in your spiral bending book. Answers you will write in the handout. We gave one small cute handout. We will write the answers in that handout. Question is there in that spiral book. And no matter how many people are sitting in that row, if there are four people sitting, all the four will open the material. Sir, sharing is caring. No, sharing is not caring. Marks cannot be shared in the examination. Don't say, sir, space is less. We both will share one book. No, open your book. Write in your book. Did not get it yet. If you have not got, it's okay. But if you have got it, please open. If you have not got, please share. How many of you don't have material? Oh my God, more than half. Don't worry, I will show the question on the board. I will show the question on the, can I, Helipa, Enantira. I will show the question on the board. Post break, you will get the material, don't worry. Help yourself. Help yourself. Find the page number. That is the question. All easy way. Page number is not open. You can open it. You can open it. 309. Okay, this is the question. <coughs> is this the question your material? Voice is not audible properly. Not audible properly. Uh, Sachitan, I will ask them to check it in the break, okay? Right now, I do not know how to help. Not audible properly, but are you able to understand what I am trying to tell? Survive till 10 o'clock. We will set it up. We will set up the rest in the break. If that is fine with you. Is that? Okay, come on guys, let us start reading this question. The details of assets and liabilities of, I am not writing exam in the month of June. Who is writing exam in the month of June? Yeah. Who should read the question? Yeah. Ah, come on, first in the, one, two, three, start. And 31st of March 2013 are as? Very good. So, they have given two years details, 31st of March 2012 and 31st of March 2013. So, 13 is the later year, 12 is the first year. So, 31st of March 2012 acts as an opening balance. 31st of March 2013 acts as closing balance. Why would I tell same thing twice? 31st of March 2012 acts as opening balance. 31st of March 2013. 1, 3, Thera, acts as closing balance. Understood? Come on. Don't waste time reading this. Don't waste time reading this table. You will never read tables. Read what is given below the table. Mr. A, 
decided to provide depreciation. Come on here. On what? Furniture and building. So, building kind of really one star. Why? There is some depreciation adjustment. on. Opening balance is correct. One lakh. Closing balance will not be one lakh. They have not given closing balance, Alva. We will find closing balance after we provide for depreciation. After we provide for depreciation. Same with regard to furniture also. Opening balance is given to us. Closing balance will be found after providing depreciation. Closing balance will be found after providing depreciation. Everyone understood? Come on. What's after that? Mr. A purchased jewelry for 24,000 for his daughter. Hey, now, daughter is personal, no? So, this expenditure is also personal. This is drawings. So, drawing Allah, jewelry. That jewelry to buy jewelry, they withdrew money. It is drawings from capital. Oh, mm. underline this and write drawings. Purchased jewelry. What is purchase of jewelry? Drawings. Suddenly, whenever the voice drops, immediately you tell me. I'll repeat once again. Purchased jewelry is drawings. Continue. For his daughter in December 2012. Ayyo, this is what in October. Why? The poverty time, no discount will be there. December jewelry, no discount. He sold his car on 30th of March 2013 and amount of 40,000 was retained in business. So, when he sold his car, it is his personal car, that money should go home. He brought that money into business. So, this is additional capital. So, there is drawings, there is additional capital. See, client will not tell, sir, I made drawings of 40,000. I made additional capital of 40,000. I made drawings of paper. Client will not tell like that. Client will tell. Actually, uh, my daughter is there. No, that second daughter, not the first daughter. That second daughter uh, wedding was there. So then uh, we all were thinking. Then we finally actually bought jewelry, twenty-four thousand. See, a lot of indirect information they give. You should think. Okay, daughter wedding. They bought jewelry, twenty-four thousand drawings. They could have straight away told drawings, twenty-four. They won't tell like that. They will tell stories. From the stories, you would have to pick the transaction and record it. Same is the case. And during this process, one old car was there. Quantasa, you know that old car. Nice one, white color car was there. <laughs> we sold it. <laughs> I was expecting 60,000, 70,000 at all. OLX and I had put to. regular car at all. I was getting to overpaid, sir. Finally, I sold it for 40,000. At that money also, I kept it in business. They will tell like this. You would have to catch. Okay, car is sold, personal asset. Money is not taken home. Money is got into business. So, it is additional capital. Got it? That's it. You are required to prepare statement of affairs. Oh, EY Sally. <laughs> For 31st of March 12 and 31st of March 13. We will prepare. Statement of affairs is nothing but balance sheet. Type, but not balance sheet. Mantara balance sheet tara. Correct? No, ish. It's like balance sheet. But it is not balance sheet. You get that? Then, also, we should calculate profit. What should we calculate? Received by A during the year. We'll do it. Shall we? Okay. Usually, the logic is we'll first prepare PNL account and then prepare balance sheet. In statement of affairs, ulta. First prepare balance sheet and then prepare PNL. Like here, balance sheet is statement of affairs. Can I start? Okay. Now you should help me. You will not write when I am writing. I'll give you time to write. I'll give you time to write. You will help me now. Everyone will look at the board. Everyone will look at the board. No day. First in the First item. What do we have as first item here? For furniture. How much furniture? 50,000 is the opening balance. Closing, we don't know. We don't know. So, how do we get to know? Later, they have told no adjustment. We will do that and then we will find it. So, asset side, I will write furniture. 31st of March 2012, 50,000. 31st of March 2012, 50,000. Everyone understood this? Then closing, we don't know. We will write it later when we read the adjustment. Now, building. How much is building? 1 lakh. Asset alwa. Tell rate 1 lakh building 31st of March 2012. Again, below furniture. Building. I'll write here 31st of March 2012, 1 lakh. Everyone's getting what I'm doing? After this. What do you have after this? Building also, we don't know closing balance. We'll find after depreciation. Then, each stock. What is it? Not stock, 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 stock. How much? One lakh. 
let us write e stock how much 1 lakh we know closing balance also we know the how much 2 lakh 50 2 lakh we'll write 2 lakh 50 yeah correct or not dai no dai 2 and half dai dai okay dai 250 then date is 1 and half up sundri debtors how much opening 60 closing 110 we'll write 60 and 110 asset alwar sundri debtors right sundri debtors 60 110 done after kasu in kai kai alli kasu 11200 13200 don't touch someone else's kasu kandavar kasu ena samana anthe irthe nangu thilla pa naane irala 11200 13200 shall we write it like this yes for those of them who don't understand kannada kandavar kasu is someone else's money not our money let's not touch it let's write it in their balance sheet only yeah yeah after that we have kasu where in bank how much 60 and 75 i'll write it same to same here kasu at banko 60 and 75 clear any doubts can i go forward now last of two items loan how much loan 90 and 70 we'll write same to same sundri creditor also shall write together 50 80 two two items at a time confuse agala thane hey sir yen anukondidara namage Two two will maintain at the same time. Items, yeah. Loans ninety seventy. Sundari creditors fifty eighty. Done. We're done with the table now. Shall we read this adjustment once again? Now read the first one. Depreciation. How much? Two point five percent on building. How much is building value? One lakh. One lakh. Only how much should we eliminate? Two point five. Take calculator. Do one lakh minus two point five percent. We'll do a small cute working note. Actually, is this mandatory to be done in the exam? No, it is not mandatory. That is the reason I have also given you in a different color. This working note can be skipped in the exam. Book value is how much? One lakh. Depreciation is how much? One lakh into two point five percent, two thousand five hundred. Closing balance. We are not preparing P and L to write this two thousand five hundred somewhere. We'll straight away write ninety seven thousand five hundred in balance sheet. In the balance sheet. Or something which looks like balance sheet. We have no building one lakh opening balance. Closing balance was missing. Closing balance was. We now found it. It is ninety seven thousand five hundred. How much is it? Everyone understood. Am I going fast? You all are getting it. Is that one gear change modern? Hmm? Furniture ten percent. City limits we are there still. Long drive no today tomorrow. We still in city limits. Highway go go over go twenty thirty speed. तोर्ती नाकने के लिए गाड़ी अंत फर्नीचर टेन पर्सेंट फर्नीचर हाउ मच इज फर्नीचर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड सो वाट आर वी गोइंग टू डू नाउ सो लेट मी राइट हियर फर्नीचर ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व हाउ मच इज इट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड लेसेंट टेन पर्सेंट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टू टेन फाइव क्लोजिंग फोर्टी फाइव वी आर नॉट प्रिपेरिंग कंप्लीट रिकॉर्ड राइट फाइव थाउजेंड डेप्रिशन एनी After deducting five thousand depreciation closing value forty five is there, I'll write straight that forty five. Shall I? You might say, sir, they want us to find profit. Why don't we write the two thousand five hundred depreciation on building, five thousand depreciation on furniture in P and L account to prepare P and L account? Depreciation is not the only item required. You need to know how much is cash expense paid. You need to know how much is outstanding expense, prepaid expense, sales, purchase. All of that and all details is not there. That is the reason it is called as incomplete record. That is the reason it's called as. If all the data was there, this would have been not called as incomplete record. This would have been called as final accounts of sole proprietor. Chapter A different. Are you getting it? Yes. So anything else left in the question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we have purchased the jewelry. What was that purchased jewelry concept? Drawings. Now what do we do? Here we'll write capital. Am I right? Correct, Alva. Capital will be found as balancing figure for both opening and closing. Am I right? Then I told you one beautiful story. Opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings is equal to 
closing sorry plus profit is equal to closing capital but i'll take closing capital minus opening capital minus additional capital plus drawings that will give us profit come on tell me once again what do we do we'll take closing capital p minus opening capital p minus additional capital we add drawings this will give us profit how many of you did not understand this opening capital plus additional capital minus drawings plus profit is equal to closing capital closing capital minus opening capital minus additional capital plus drawings is equal to profit everyone anybody has doubt pakka months layo huh months lay okay now come on what did we just get to know we got to know that jewelry is been purchased drawings 24 plus a minus a fantastic then in any day car 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 sold car 40000 what is it shall we write here additional capital plus a minus a minus 40 done that's it question is over question is did we finish the question sir now how do we find profit what is missing how do we find opening and closing capital statement of affairs come on this is like balance sheet have you ever taken balance and figure in balance sheet first time ever in the history of your life accounts come on find the balance in figure in something which looks like balance sheet 1 lakh 50 2 lakh 50 3 lakh 10 3 lakh 70 3 lakh 81 200 381 200 minus 140 241 200 i right similarly 45 plus 97 500 plus 250 plus 110 plus 13 200 plus 75 last three digits nan martini first three digits new madi 700 last three digits 590 ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸಾಕು ನಿಮ್ದು ಫೈವ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಐಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫೈವ್ ನೈಂಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮೈನಸ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಮೈನಸ್ ಏಟಿ ನಾನು ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸಿ ವಿಲ್ ಶೇರ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಆ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಪನಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಇಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಟೂ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಓಡ ಸೇ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಜಿಟ್ಸ್ ಐ ಡು ಫೈವ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ 183 it is difference between the capitals it is what is found as profit everyone understood now come on i'll give you 2 minutes you have to quickly copy the answer into your notebook if anyone has doubts you can ask we take break of after the break in hand out given if you ready you didn't get ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಡಿಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಡಿಂಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ರೆಡಿ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರೀಬೇಡಿ ರೆಡಿ ಪೆನ್ಸಿಲ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಎರೇಸರ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ನಡೆಸ್ತೀನಿ ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ರು ಇನ್ನೊಬ್ರು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಮೂವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ problem with me we'll take break around 10:30 first session na fresh alva jaasti hot maartene last session no swalpa light will be shaky no cricket bidu chance jaasti irutte adike karme aagutte
how many money of them built? Oh my God, what's wrong with this sir? When I told six o'clock, you won't raise that. What did you ask? Are you mad? You both talk. I don't care what it is about. Oh, 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 what happens? What were you expecting when you are taking that PK balance? That's the topic. That's why I don't like this, this, this. Yes. Laptop charge in the country. Be back on one moment. Keep coffee.
How late you've been seeing too many other things? You're getting excited looking at a rope. Hilary, pencil, Hilary. On pencil, Hilary. I mean, now eraser, Hilary. Sir, Okay. <coughs> no, the only reason why I'm asking you not to write in pencil is it will fade. Matter of time. When it reacts with the oxygen in the other case full layer lila. It will fade, guys. It will vanish. You won't be able to see it after some time. So preferably write in pen. For writing cheats, you get that micro pen, no? Pen with micro nib. For PCOM exam, to write cheat, you will buy that pen, Alva. Use that pen. Like, search it. We don't write. We take micro Xerox. Sorry. <coughs> Can we start with next one? Can we? Illustration number two. Is everyone with me? Come on, guys. Start reading illustration number two. Don't worry. I will show the question on the screen. You can collect the material in the break time. 1, 2, 3, start. We have updated this question recently. We have updated this question. What is the update? I added the word Mr. Yeah, class is a question. Question Read. Huh. Aman is running a business of uh, ready made garments. Okay. He does not make. Why? Maybe he is from science background. Why? Last thing, the income of Mr. Aman for the financial year 2016 17. Remember 2016 2017? Yes. What was the jersey color of CSK in 2016 17? Black o. Ban other black than After that, income tax officer feels that they have not disclosed the full income earned from his business. So, who has the doubt here? See, Mr. Raman has prepared his books of accounts. Mr. Raman has filed his income tax return. Income tax officer thinks that Mr. Raman has not disclosed full income. Who has the doubt here? Now, what is income tax officer doing is provided the information what he has. According to income tax officer, the assets of Aman on 31st of March 2016 is 1665, liabilities is 413 and on 17 it is 28, 40 and 580 and income tax officer has further information. How much money has been withdrawn by Aman? How much? 32,000 per month per, they are also providing details of uh, uh, income tax. How much is the income declared to income tax officer? Now, you know what the income tax as, uh, officer is asking? He is asking you to tell whether that income 9 lakh 12,000 what is disclosed is correct or tell him if the income is more. Now you are doing accounts not for the, uh, what to say, Aman, who, who, for whose sake are you doing accounts? Income tax officer has asked you to identify the income of Mr. Aman. Are you getting it? Now you are preparing statement of affairs and statement of profit or loss for whose sake? Income tax officer's sake. Now with this information, can you determine his income? Yes. How? We will prepare two statement of affairs. How many statement of affairs? One, as on 31st of March 2016. Two, as on 31st of March 2017. Now observe, 2016, assets is 1665, liabilities is 413. How much will be capital? How much will be capital? 1665 minus 4,13. 1,42,000. Okay, 12,52,000. 12,52 is opening capital. Similarly, as on 31st of March 2017, we know assets and liabilities. To this 28,40 minus 580. How much? 2, 22 lakh. So, 12,52, 22,60. 60,000. So, the difference will be profit, additional capital and drawings. Additional capital is not there. 
ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ That is surrendered and that money got it into business. How much is that? How much is that? Yeah, fifty thousand. Then drawings is how much? Drawings they have given no. What have they given the drawings as drawings only? Thirty-two thousand into twelve. Three lakh. Now identify how much is the profit. Everyone understood? Anybody has doubt? Now we would have to write one more. Answer doesn't end here. We have to write. Profit as per statement of profit or loss, thirteen lakh forty-two. Profit disclosed to income tax, nine lakh twelve. What is the shortage or undisclosed income? Four lakh thirty black. Four lakh thirty black. So read the conclusion. Mr. Raman has undisclosed income of four lakh thirty thousand, as his profit as per statement of profit or loss is thirteen lakh forty-two, and income declared to income tax officer is. Nine lakh twelve thousand. Everyone, is this easy? Did you all get it? Come on, chalo, bega bega. We'll do maybe one or two more questions before that. Around ten twenty, ten thirty, we should take our first break. We'll have break till eleven. Then eleven to one over na. One to one thirty or one forty five. We'll take one more break. And then we'll do one last session. I might not take till six. In the royalty is one chapter of it. What royalty? Chart working, floating, no fix. I am confused. You don't know. Very easy. I have taken notes on air for this one. You read the first few questions only. 
So what do we do now? So what do we do? Hmm? Four o'clock, five o'clock types. Darva. Hi. Oh, what's your name? Ah. ಮನೆಗೆ ಹೋಗ್ತೀರಾ ಅಪ್ಪಿ ತಪ್ಪಿ ಹೇಳ್ದೆ ಕೇಳ್ದೆ ಅರ್ಧ ದಿನ ಪಂಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ದೇರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೇಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ Yes, sir. Scroll down. Stop this, please. This will be the last time you are doing this. Can we go to illustration number 3? ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಯುರ್ ಡನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಟೇಷನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ
Hey, people are watching Zoom class. If you leave for breakfast before me, someone is watching you. Saran Brit Tinbar to Tinde. Down. Can we start with third one? Everyone ready? Akka. Vega, Vega. Done. Come on, guys. Let's now solve illustration number three. Assets and liabilities of Messrs. Hey, who should read? Ah, who's reading? Assets and liabilities of who runs a as on. So they have given two years, fourteen, fifteen. They have given the list of assets and liabilities. So we will write all the assets on the asset side. These liabilities on the credit side, liability side. We will find capital as balance in figure opening and closing. Then we will do statement of affairs. Quickly read. What is the information that they have given? Depreciation on machinery and tools, furniture and fixtures are to be provided on. At what rate? So whatever is given here, no machinery and tools, this is before depreciation. Why? See, Shreya knows how to do makeup. Shreya doesn't know how to do depreciation. Am I right? Sir, then how did it uh, come 30,000? 25,000 tools and machine was there in the beginning. She bought purchase tools worth 5,000. She added 5,000, made it 30. She forgot to provide depreciation. We should provide depreciation because we don't know how to do makeup, but we know how to do depreciation. She doesn't know how to do depreciation, but she knows how to do makeup. Let her do makeup, let us do depreciation. Am I right? If she does depreciation, we do makeup, it will be chi 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 chi. Okay. Then what is after that? There is supposed to be depreciation on furniture also. That rotating chair will be there. No? That mirror. Okay, all of that. Wait, okay, sofa. What is that? Steam, steam. Ah, steam, all that. Then I don't know more than that. I know only so much. Uh, what do we have after that? Shreya purchased machinery and tools amounting to 5000. Ah, see, machinery and tools, how much was it opening? Plus, you don't have to do. It is already added 5. That's how we arrived at 30. But depreciation she has not provided. We should provide it on the dep We should provide depreciation. What is this? Why did they give this information? They have told that it is purchased on 1st of July 2014. When is it purchased? When we provide depreciation, we should not provide 30,000 into depreciation percentage. For 25,000 opening balance, full year depreciation. 5,000 purchase from 1st of July to 31st of March. July to 31st of March is how many months? Ah, correct, 9 months. April, May, June, 3 months you eliminate from 12. 9 months depreciation on that 5000. On 25000, 12 months. On 5000, 9 months. I repeat, 25000 opening balance, so much depreciation. 12 months depreciation. 5000 purchase, 9 months depreciation. Anybody has doubts? Understood? Say something. We will do it later. Huh? Then, But what we know is, 30000 is not the number that we should write in statement of office. Did you understand that we should not write 30? 30 is before depreciation. You should write 30 in a working note, compute depreciation and then write it in the statement of profits. Got it? What is after that? She also bought furniture for 10,000. Ah, How much is it here? 50. Plus 10. So, she has added 10. That is how we arrived at 60. That is how we arrived at? But depreciation is not provided. You should provide depreciation on 60. But when is this purchase of 10 happening? 1st of January. So, on that additional 10,000, only 3 months depreciation. On that additional 10,000, how many months depreciation? 3 months. What about that rest of the opening balance of, of 50? 12 months. On 50,000, 12 months depreciation. On 10,000, 3 months depreciation. Underst understood everyone? No doubts? Please ask if you guys have any doubts. You guys have any doubts? No doubts? Can I go forward? This is overview of the question. We will read the question once again when we are solving it. 
don't worry. For now, 60,000 is incorrect. 60,000 is, we will write 60,000 in, in uh, what is a working note. Identify the balance and then write in the balance sheet. Then, loan amount of 10,000 was partly paid by her. Here she has loan. How much is it? 50. Alba. Closing balance is how much? How? 10,000 loan she has repaid. Principal outstanding was 50 in the beginning. Principal outstanding is 40 at the end. Because 10,000 is repaid. Now, oh, we have to compute interest. Do we find interest on 50 or do we find interest on 40? Think and tell me. Do we find interest on 50 or do we find interest on 40? Depends. When is the loan repaid? Let us say 10,000 is repaid at the beginning of the year. So, then the amount outstanding for the entire year is 40. So, interest will be computed on 40 for 12 months. What if 10,000 repayment is done on the last day of the year? Throughout the year, amount outstanding is 50. So, we compute interest on 50. What if the repayment is done after 6 months? First 6 months interest on 50. Next 6 months interest on 40. What if after 9 months you repay 10,000? First 9 months 50. Last 3 months 40. So, it totally depends upon the date of repayment. It totally depends upon the date of? See, when did they repay? 31st of March 2015. Closing day. So, on the closing day, she repaid 10. Throughout the year, how much is the outstanding principal? Throughout the year, how much is it outstanding? Very good. All the year, 50,000 is outstanding. Last day, they paid 10,000 interest. 10,000 principal and outstanding became 40. Now, will you compute interest on 40? Tapu. Should compute interest on 50,000. Should compute interest on? So, we will compute interest on entire 50,000 for 12 months. Entire 50,000 for? Are you guys getting the answer here? Anyone who has doubt, you ask me now. Please, if you have doubt, imme immediately you ask. Pakka, everyone's understanding. Can you go further ahead? What do you have after that? Interest on the loan is to be provided 12% per annum. Okay. And the same is unpaid. And the same is? Very good. What do you mean by same is unpaid? That interest is not paid. It will become outstanding interest and it will appear in balance sheet as liability. Interest is not paid. It will appear as liability in the balance sheet. Liability side. <coughs> Got it? Then, no interest of earlier period is outstanding. So, meaning there is no opening outstanding. Only this year interest is outstanding. Last year, uh, Shreya was good girl. She paid interest. This year, Shreya has become bad girl. She did not pay interest. So, how can you tell that? They only told that last year interest was not outstanding. After that, Nane I don't know how. Suddenly, you will stop reading and then I will read the question. <laughs> Exam also, Nan Bandh Odh Bekan be a question. During See, Raga Ella, Thala Ella, Kurus, 1, 2, 3, start. During financial year 14, 15. Stop there. She won prize of 20,000. This is her personal winnings. She participated in some beauty contest. And she won 20,000 rupees. Gift prize. So, this 20,000, what she won? Is her personal winnings? She should take it home. But she has got it into business. This is additional capital. What would this 20,000 be? Everyone understood that this is additional capital? Make some noise. Very good. What's after that? Same is retained by her in the, oh my God, like Karna, she sacrificed her 20,000 rupees for the business. Read further. Monthly withdrawal of Shreya were 1 single get 1000. So, 2000 allow. That is the free. It is bare. 1000 rupees per month. How many months? 12 months. How much is it for 12 months? What is 12,000? Drawings. What is 12,000? Where would this be? In statement of affairs. Sorry, statement of profit. We add back drawings and deduct additional capital. After that, prepare statement of affairs and determine profit. Or FI means financial year ending 31st of March 2015. By applying method of capital comparison. Underline that word capital comparison. Capital comparison is nothing but what we were doing, no statement of affairs, that itself. We compare capital opening and closing and then identify profit. Am I right? Come on, let's go. Shall we start solving this? Very good. Machinery and tools. Opening 20. I will write, later you will write. Machinery and tools. 25. Closing Barila, 30. No, 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 no. Closing 30, Why? 
would have to do one working machinery and tools book value opening is how much 25 then you made purchase how much 5000 total becomes 30 <coughs> correct we'll do depreciation later when we read in the question for now 25 was opening 5000 purchase closing has become 30 can't see can you see now very you should tell i won't understand unless you tell then furniture and fixtures how much 50 i'll write in my statement of affairs furniture how much opening closing 60 is there but 60 is before depreciation we can't write it what should we do working note what should we do let me write in my working note furniture and fixtures book value 50 purchase 10 closing 60 correct huh? everyone what's after that stock e stock of consumables how much 60 opening 135 closing shall i write here e stock of consumables asset opening 60 closing 135 any doubts? Pakka. Ellari go artha akti diya. Nangantu artha aitu. Nimgo artha aitu. Anta answer thai. Sundry datas. 20, 45. Any adjustment? No adjustment. Shall I write in statement of affairs? What do I write here? Sundry data. Then cash at bank 35 opening 42 500 closing. Shall I read in statement of affairs? Pakka. Then last one cash in hand opening 2150 closing 3750. Any adjustment? Where do we write this? Statement of affairs asset side. Never heard. Taj Mahal. Okay, then liabilities. What is the first item in liabilities? Loan. How much is it? 50 opening, closing 40. Shall I write 40? Actually, I can write 40. Why? Hey, why did we not write asset? In the problem, the flow loto Why did we not write 30 and 60? Because there is depreciation. Now you tell me on the loan, what sort of depreciation will you come with? Will you do depreciation on loan? I will write 40 in the statement of affairs. Sir, mathe al bardil al depreciation. Illi interest to. Interest will not be deducted to loan. Interest will not be added to loan. Interest is separate item. You got this? That and all we don't know, sir. Their adjustment was there, you didn't write. Their adjustment is there, you should not write. Well, flow, pattern, pattern. Come on, let me write here. Loan. How much is opening? Closing? Shall I write 40? Pakka. Exactly. Loan outstanding is 40. We'll write 40. Sir, interest? We'll write later. We'll write later. Sir, when will we write? When we come here and then read, no, we'll write. Sir, we know no, sir, adjustment. Now only shall I write? Hey, no. Arthik Pandya Tara Adbardo. Order is very important. Question order Marcon, Iliron the adjustment Madado, Ilam Karna Madadu, Shrimata Madil, Madhya Madil reception. What is wrong with you all? Order. Order of the question you have to solve. Don't do one adjustment from here, one adjustment from here, one adjustment from here, one adjustment. No. Order of the question is very, very important. If not, no. If you write this adjustment, no. Then you don't know what an all I have done. Sometimes you might forget one. Why? Right? You don't know what you've done, what you've not done. Order Madhu, you'll know everything. Problem. After this, Sundri creditors. How much? Opening 20, closing 35. Any adjustment? No. Shall I write on the liability side here? Sundari. 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 Oh, volume drop up to there. 20 and 35. Done. Now, can we read the adjustments? First one. Depreciation. Machinery tools. And furniture. To be provided on WDV at what rate? 10%. Shall we? Okay. Now come on. They have told she has purchased machinery tools on 1st of July. Come on here. So opening is 25. Purchase on 1st of July is 5. Now we will provide depreciation on 31st of March. On opening 25,000. 
मार्च थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन टू थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन ट्वेल्व मंथ्स एम आई राइट कम ऑन लेट मी राइट ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड इन टू ओमनी ओमच परसेंटेज टेन परसेंट इन टू ओमनी मंथ्स ट्वेल्व बाई ट्वेल्व एवढं वन दिसते सर कॅल्क्युलेट பண்ணுங்க மா 2000 who told 2750 2500 paka three doubts okay then what about that 5000 july to march july august september october november december january february march how many months very good 5000 into 10% into 9 by 12 370 put together 2870 come on did up what do we get 30000 minus 2875 hey anybody doubt anyone anyone yari gadru enadru doubt idya machinery and tools machinery and tools nobody has doubt where do you write 27 125 shall i write in closing balance sheet it's not balance sheet statement of affairs closing date column shall i write 27175 sorry 125 where do i write 2875 tell statement of profit or loss machine leke martha tune ha you cannot write 2875 in statement of profit or loss you will write only 27125 in statement of affairs sir then how do we find profit profit is not found by writing expense and income profit is not found by rating expense and income profit is found by on calculator madru ashe na kanthala ninge on calculator madide hing urta kutkonbidta don't admire him so much please i am telling something you are last you both are busy calculating something on calculator 4101 40 189 90 aakodu 1010 27 125 will go to statement of affairs shall i write here statement of affairs i'll write 27125 as my machinery and tools similarly let's find furniture and fixture shall we read the question shreya purchased machinery tool over she also purchased furniture amounting to rupees 10000 on 1st of january 15 when did she buy come on here so 1st of january 15 this purchase happened now On 31st of March, when I am computing depreciation on furniture, fifty thousand. How much depreciation? Ten percent. How many months? Very good. How about on ten thousand rupees purchase? Hundred percent. Ten percent. Fifty thousand into ten percent into twelve by twelve. Ten thousand into ten percent into three by twelve. How much is this? Five thousand. This together. Here fifty four thousand seven fifty. Where would I write this fifty four thousand seven fifty? Closing statement of affairs, hundred percent, no doubt. Where would I write five thousand two fifty? No way, no way. Fifty four thousand seven fifty will write. Let's write fifty four thousand seven fifty. We have done working note number one and working note number two for this. Okay, come on. What is there after that in the question? Loan amount of ten thousand was partly paid by her on thirty first of March twenty fifteen. This working note can be skipped, but however, I'll still make you do the same. How much is the loan outstanding amount at the beginning? Fifty thousand. Repay ten thousand on what date? Thirty first of March twenty fifteen. So closing balance is forty. Now when I compute interest, what they are asking us to compute at what rate? Twelve percent. Will be computed on fifty or forty or ten. I should compute on fifty for twelve months. I should compute on forty for zero months. Why? Forty thousand is outstanding for zero months. Zero days, in fact. Fifty thousand is outstanding for twelve months. How long is fifty thousand outstanding? Six a. Total amount. Six thousand as of the interest. Okay. Now do this. Fifty thousand into twelve percent into twelve by twelve. Six thousand 
this is interest this is outstanding this is if this is outstanding it will become liability if it is liability it will come in balance sheet here in the here in this case it's called as statement of affairs in our statement of affairs i'll write here outstanding interest 31st of march 14 or 31st of march 15 now how much 6000 why not on 14 you will get doubt sir what if last year was also outstanding that is the reason they clearly mentioned in the question same is unpaid as on 31st of march 15 no interest of earlier period is outstanding in the last year there is no interest outstanding opening interest outstanding is zero opening interest outstanding is last year she was a good girl she paid interest on time this year she has become bad girl she didn't pay interest on loan okay read the next part of the question during financial year 1415 shreya participated in competition one price 20000 what is that 20000 here i'll write now what do i write closing capital minus minus additional plus drawings that is profit how much is additional capital what is this price from competition price from everyone's understanding this read further then uh, drawings how much is drawings 1000 per month how much per month 1 month 1000 rupees 12 months very good i'll write here 1000 into 12 drawings 1000 then we need opening and closing capital if we get opening and closing capital we can find a profit question is khatam now we finish reading the question answer everything is ready we'll find our opening and closing capital as balance of figure in statement of affairs use that year to find our profit can we do it take the total 25 plus 50 plus 60 plus 20 plus 35 plus 2150 One lakh ninety-two thousand minus seventy thousand. This is opening capital. Similarly, closing. Everyone should take their calculator out and then compute. Where is your calculator? Distortion, huh? Where is your calculator? Kelastaila. Why did you not? Adu correction. Second of Tandila under course dilla. Why did you not get? Understand the question. Example question के लिए next term डल बढ़ती नहीं बढ़त बढ़ती रहा। Why did you didn't get? क्या करी था नहीं ला? Answer हाँ? ये क्या था? How many of you don't have calculator? How many? How many? No calculator in class? निम्न क्या अंदर है? निम्न class में बंदी रहता है ना? क्यालक्युलेटर तरह गोतिलवाकुलेटर पोस्ट ब्रेक क्यालक्युलेटर इन क्लास पीजी गो गेट क्यालक्युलेटर Master, close by. You. Can you tell me the calculator? You sir. B L. Calculator all month bandra. Last two hours make noori. Last hour ne. Tomorrow don't forget your book at home. Sir, I was reading last night. Sir, three o'clock I kept book at home and came. Ma, jala kate el bade. You would have to get calculator, book, stationery to class. No calculator, no entry. See? Come on, let's uh, compute. Now what will you do? Everyone is computing. You angle note that I could do. Should get calculator. Basic is all. I'll forget laptop and come to class tomorrow. Tell me the total here. Three lakh eight thousand one twenty five minus seventy five plus six eighty one. 227 125. Come on, let's write this. Closing capital 227 125 minus opening 122 150. Identify the profit. 96 96,975 is profit. Everyone understood this? Say something. Anybody has any doubt? Feel free to ask. Pakka. Okay, come on, guys. Copy this. Once you finish copying, we're going to take break. Once you finish copying, we'll take break. On the other side of the break, we'll do more questions. You know how the next question is going to be. Is there any noddy?
you did right now for how many years? Two years data was given, alva. In Madhya Pradesh, no deal. Oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You need to find profit for two thousand five, two thousand six, two thousand seven, two thousand eight, two thousand nine, and two thousand ten. One more, one more, and we go. Chatta patta, chatta patta. Malge, malge, idhar idhar nudi. Yeah, after break, band alert sir. Till then, you copy this. ಲಾಂಗರ್ <laughs> 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 ನೀವು ಐದು ಅವರ್ ಕುತ್ಕೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಐದು ಅವರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮುಗಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಇವಾಗ ನೀವು ಒಂಬತ್ತು ಅವರ್ ಕೂಡ ಕೇಳಿದೀರಾ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೈನ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ಐ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಯು ಪೀಪಲ್ ಟು ಕೋಆಪರೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗುಡ್ ಮಂಡೇ ಟ್ಯೂಸ್ಡೇ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಆಗುತ್ತಾ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಇದೆಯಾ ಮನು ನನ್ ಸಮುದ್ರ ನೀನು ಇನ್ನು ಮನು ಇನ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆಪ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಮನು ಇನ್ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಬಸ್ ಸಮುದ್ರ ಸಂದರ್ಭ ಹೋಗಿದ್ದಾರ ಮನೆ ಕಟ್ಸಿದ್ದೆ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ Is your friend Mark, your parents' friend, stop coming. Oh, what? Ya wish you there. Aptha Sagar is actually one channel here, two channel here. Two channel here. Let's scroll down. Statement of affairs done. I didn't see part two. ನೋಡ್ಬೇಕಿಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆಯಾ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಲೈಕ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಬಿ ಪಿಕೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿಲ್ವಾ ಸೈಡ್ ಬಿ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಬಿ ಫೌಂಡೇಶನ್ 
ಏನ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಂಗೆ ಇಟ್ಟಿದ್ದು ಸೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಅಂದರ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ರೇಕ್ ಆ ಓಯ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಫೇರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಗ ಬಂದ್ ಹಿಂಗೆ Keeping a phone for long hours in the pocket is not good for you. Yes. Yes, sir. I am not kidding. I am seriously not kidding. Yes. ಓಯ್ ಕೌಂಡ್ರಿ ಉಂಡಿ ಇನ್ಕಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಸಿಂಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಮೇಯ್ ಮನೆ ಸಿಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಬಿಟ್ಟಿಲ್ಲ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಹೌದಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಬೇರೆ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಮೈಸ್ ಕೊಡ್ರಿ ಹಂಡ್ರಿ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಟೀಚರ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಸರಿ 
Can I scroll down a little more? Last one is working out on loan or computing interest. If you are done with that, we will take break. And we'll do the Marvel Universe question after break. Okay, sir. Sir, or Tama, Asghar Dapura. Okay, sir. Asar color attack is done. Okay, nickname. You call him now. Okay, sir. Look, take over there. Okay, sir. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you know Loki sir? Aap aur apun mushari laate ho to will come. Mandya karta hai. Anna karta hai. Anna to sukhya karta hai. Sukhya toh unhoi karta hai. Problem? Okay, it is uh, 10.35 right now. Let's take a break. I expect you all back in the class by 11.10. Morning you come slightly late. I am okay. Break at me late barbardo. Don't go to morning breakfast place where people come with family. Go to a place where you can eat breakfast and be back in class by 11.10. So, see you at 11.10. And I'll stop the Zoom meeting also. I'll start it post-break.